I didn't think it was going to transition that fast and bent the absolute shit out of the tie rod. So, the tie rod's a U now. Uh, that's supposed to be straight. And the bumper decided to go underneath the car and it's now a Twizzler. So, that's no good either. But, we'll get the car fixed and she'll be ready to go. The uh, actual problem that I'm worried about is second gear doesn't work anymore. Imagine that. So, out of nowhere, second gear decided that it wasn't going to go in and... Um, so hopefully I can just baby it in and keep it there. And this will be the fifth transmission build this year. So uh, yeah, hopefully I can keep it in second and we won't have that issue. If not, I'm gonna be royally screwed. But as long as I make it on the track, I think I'm good tomorrow. So, hell yeah. So um, here's a new tie rod. Here's the old tie rod. It's basically a U-joint now because um, 
It's a big old U. So, you get this replaced, the car's ready to go. We'll go rip her again. super grippy which is a lot better than it was yesterday and uh, the 265 s really helped out uh, car is feeling pretty good second gear is only kind of shitty it's not 100% shitty so um, we'll be ready to go as you can see freedom rings today it's super windy and uh, we got tornado watches coming in so we got to get everything done by like four o'clock before weather gets really crazy so uh, We'll get this started here soon. Uh, I've already done a lap, but I'm gonna go take a couple more and um, hopefully we can get this going soon. second or third up and we're gonna crush it so uh, biggest race ever but a pretty good standings and uh, we're gonna just do the best we can and we'll kill it Okay. He was off and then that's what happened. 
something, you know, like, I followed him, I'm like, whatever, we'll do this, I ain't scared. But, uh, he, like, straightened and fucking went to you. All right.
is Jonathan Fry. Hell yeah. So let's get a big, loud round of applause for these drivers for the day. All right. I will be announcing the top five Ready. of our Pro-Am series. These top five drivers will be getting their what? Formula Drift Pro-Am licenses. In fifth place, Prospect licenses, not Pro-Am licenses. I got incorrected. Yeah. In fifth place for the season, Jack Davis. In fourth place for the season, <laughs> Chris Leonard. Woo! Woo! Third place for this Pro Am season, Justin Chestnut. And then our Pro Am runner up for this season is Jonathan Pry. And then our Pro-Am Champion for 2021 is Robert Ford! <laughs> you guys put on a great series of battles this year. You always put on a great show and it was hard fought to get these positions. So congratulations to every single one of you. Alright, and then for the Pro 3, top 3 for the season, in 3rd place, we have Robert Thor. <laughs> Our 2nd place Pro 3 driver for the season, Jonathan Fry. And then our overall points winner for the 2021 Pro 3 season is Chris Leonard. Make sure to plug those socials. <laughs> Congratulations to all of our winners for this season. You guys put on a great show for us every single event. All right, man, that was awesome. Uh, got my FD license, something I never really thought I'd get, especially not with this thing. Um, but got the FD license. I came in first in a whole season. That's out of control. This is a stock two valve car. So, I mean, it's got cams and like long tubes, but it's all junk thrown together. And I bet you there's less money into this car than most people have into their builds, um, especially at this level. Uh, I mean, the thing is junk, but I love it. I'll probably never get rid of it. And, I mean, if I do, it's going to just be a reshell. But, um, on the way home, because I twizzled my bumper, and I put it in the back of the truck, it flew out, cracked the windshield, so just another, uh, battle scar. Um, only one more event this year that I'll be running with this thing, unless I do it for fun. So, next week is Full Lock Drifts Round 7, or sorry, Lone Star Drifts Round 7. And uh, that'll be a bunch of fun. Um, wish me luck. There's like 80 drivers in that. So I'm in the top 10, I think. But uh, they're all badass drivers. So um, that'll be a bunch of fun. Hopefully the car stays together. I don't have any major problems. But um, yeah, that Full Lock always puts on a great event. Had a blast. The whole season was dope. I met a bunch of great people. And... Uh, yeah, so keep watching. Got a bunch of stuff coming. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.
but it's not over. I got another surprise for you guys, and I'm really excited to show you. So let's go look at it. Here it is, the new pro car. So I picked up a 2017 GT performance pack. I uh, got a really good deal on it. Um, it's kind of high miles, but I'm super excited to build it. So this is what I'm gonna be working on and I can't wait to tear it up. It's super stock and nice right now, but it won't be for long. So stay tuned, we're gonna be doing the full build. Everything's gonna be done here and uh, I'm just super amped. It's gonna be such a great car. All right, one more thing, just make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and give me some love, thanks.